Alrighty guys, I just got back from the post office. It is raining and I did get my ethic here. So I'm gonna get straight into the review because it's quite wet outside and I'm not gonna be able to do too much riding today. But let's get into it. The ethic deck is 22.5 inches long and five inches wide. It has a foot space of 15.3 inches. Uh, the head tube here is 3D forged and the total weight is 1.2 kilograms. So this thing is very, very light. It comes in a nice chrome color and it also comes in black. The Arcano class deck is 5 inches on top and it's 4.5 inches on the bottom so you're going to have a fair bit of room to grind on um, but it does taper in on the side a tiny bit so you're not going to have the maximum length on top as you will on the bottom. Look at the size of these wheels, these things are freaking huge. So these are 125mm by 30mm wide so these things are going to be awesome for grip, going to be good for rail rides, everything like that and as you can see they do have a bigger bearing. So the reason they made a bigger bearing is because obviously they have a bigger axle. So the 12 millimeter comes from this. This is the axle. This is the 12 millimeter size axle where the standard size axle is usually eight millimeters. So it's gonna have a bigger axle, which means we can run bigger pegs. All the European guys, they love to ride pegs, but having a bigger peg with a standard size axle, it just stresses out the axle and it actually makes it weak and breaking the axle. So they made a bigger axle and a bigger fork as well. As you can see, there's a huge hole inside this fork here to cater for the axles. But the best thing about this is you do get a little pack and you can run your standard size wheels. So it is very universal. So the forks that come on the Iconoclast class here are the Nemesis forks. These things are super light, they only weigh 290 grams, so they weigh absolutely nothing. Um, and the compression is ICS, so I've got the ICS pair. But they do come in a HIC or SCS version with this steel insert as well, which is awesome. But because I am running ICS, I do have these Dildy gas bars and they are awesome. These things are 670 millimeters high by 600 millimeters wide. Let's not talk about these things off this scooter. I want to put them on there and I want to ride, so let's get into it. right now. A dark grey sky doesn't look good. Body cut with clips. I'm just getting used to it. The bars are a bit too small for me but I'm getting used to it and this weather just doesn't like me today. Not at all. That's gonna do it for here. It's too hot in here. I'm just done, I'm done for it. So I just got back from the skate park. I tried to film as much as I could, but the weather, it just really didn't like me today. I finished the review at 12.30, I think it was. I edited it all up and waited for the rain to dry. And as soon as it would dry up, it would rain again. So I had problems with the weather all day. I tried to do as much riding as I could. I went and rode an underground car park. I bring my flat bar there. Um, I got some clips and then I went to Mount Eliza. I thought it would be dry, but I was wrong, so. I spent most of the day trying to fight the rain and it didn't really work. 
Besides the rain being absolutely terrible and the wind and everything like that, the scooter itself was amazing. I loved it. 30 millimeter wide wheels and the 125 wheels. Oh, they ride like a dream. The bigger bearings, I don't know what it was. They were just so smooth and they were very, very fast. As soon as you were, you were going, they were just at a constant pace and they just pick up speed super, super easy. So it's going to feel weird going back to 110 wheels. If I could ride 110 millimeter wheels with a 30 millimeter wide, that would be absolutely awesome. I'd love that for sure. But the deck itself as well, that was nice. 22.5 felt really, really nice. It grinded really, really good as well. So when you we were actually doing grinds, I was a bit skeptical at first. Wasn't too sure on how it was going to grind, but it, it was buttery. It just slid for days, which is really good. It waxed up the deck nicely. It was very, very good to grind. So I'm very, very wrapped with that. There was one thing I didn't really like about the scooter, and that was the bars were too low. But that's not, not anything to do with the brain itself. It was just, I got sent um, a pair of bars that were a little bit too low, but I may do with it. With the height of the handlebar and how long the deck was and, and doing whips, it just kind of felt weird. It kind of felt really delayed, so. But besides that, the thing rode like a dream. It was super, super light. One of the lightest scooters I've rode. So for a pair of Cromoly bars in the deck, it was it was like I was riding aluminium bars and an Apex deck. So it was it was just super light. It was awesome. Shout out to Ethic for sending me such an awesome scooter. I really, really loved it. I'm going to continue to ride it. It was amazing to ride. So be sure to follow them on Instagram. Thanks for that, guys. I'm out.